I wish I had a mug of like steaming hot tea to be more dramatic, but I think a Coke Zero is just gonna have to do. Hey everybody, I'm Gracie and today I am sitting down to spill all the tea that I have for you on the Bama Rush documentary coming out on HBO Max on May 23rd. You're either like, oh my gosh, I can't believe that you're in it or you're like, who the heck even are you? So if you don't know who I am, let me just quickly introduce myself. Hi, I'm Gracie O'Connor, and I was a pie pie at the University of Alabama for all four years. I got my start on social media and with everything that I'm doing by posting Alabama Rush vlogs on YouTube. Most may say and consider me as the OG Bama Rush girl, and I feel so honored to be called that, and that is why I am in the hashtag Bama Rush documentary coming out. I will say right off the bat, I have not seen the full documentary yet. I think that I'm gonna be getting a little bit of a preview before all of y'all get to see it But all I can say right now is based off what I know that happened while I was filming with them and based on the trailer So although I know who I am as a person and what I said vaguely at least to the camera crew You never know how something is gonna be edited when it's not in your hands So I am anticipating this documentary as well But without further ado, let's spill some tea on what is gonna go down with this Alabama rush dog Like I said, I was an active member of my sorority for all four years so I know the ins and outs of being a sorority girl at the University of Alabama I also got my start on social media by posting Alabama rush vlogs Like I said, I just had so much fun documenting and filming my life and had no idea that it could turn into my full-time job That being said, I started freshman year I also vlogged recruitment sophomore year junior year virtually and then senior year I did not participate in recruitment because I was out of the country working on some stuff during fall break in 2021 I got a couple of phone voicemails and some emails from people saying that there was going to be an Alabama Rush documentary. I thought that these were prank calls. I didn't think this was real. I had no clue what was going on, but I did agree to hop on the phone with somebody just to see what they had to say. I also have a management company, so I talked to them. I was like, can you help me confirm if this is legit or not? I want to know more of what they're going to be doing with this. Coming from somebody who's super passionate about sorority recruitment and I loved my four year experience in my sorority, I really wanted to make sure that this was something that I wanted to be in. So lo and behold, a couple of weeks later, I met with them in person in Tuscaloosa at a coffee shop. We sat down, we had a conversation because I said, I wanna talk this over before I sign any sort of paperwork or agree to anything. My goal was not to expose Alabama sororities. My personality, my brand is my livelihood. I did not wanna destroy my career by being in something super crazy. And also at the time, I still was an active member in our sorority. And when you are an active member in a sorority, I'm not sure if it's every sorority, but at least Pi Phi, we were not allowed to talk to the media. If it was something that was going to be coming out, you refer them back to your chapter president. So not only that, but I did not want to get in trouble with my own sorority. So I talked with Rachel for like an hour and a half and I was like, I freaking love her and would trust her with my life. Then I questioned, is that something she wanted me to believe so that I would film or do I think that that's the truth? And then we talked on the phone two more times and I had just decided, no, 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 that's who she is as a person. I trust her. Let's do this. I want to tell my story. I've been telling stories and sharing my life on social media for almost five years years now and I can tell you this felt like I was sitting down to film a sit down YouTube video like now I will say knowing what I look like and the privileged position that I'm in, I did tell Rachel, hey, I have a couple of topics I would like to not cover. I'm not educated. They have not happened to me. That is not my position to cover. So let's not talk about some of these things that I have here on a list. I'm not necessarily gonna share all of those because I don't even talk about them in the doc anyway. And I'm sure they found somebody to accurately answer those questions for them. But I knew who I was and what I felt comfortable and knowledgeable talking about on camera. Y'all, oh, I was so nervous. I said, what do I even wear? I was wearing a merch sweatshirt and running shorts the first time they ever came into my apartment. This was also still fall of 2021 when COVID was really still a thing. So we took COVID tests sitting outside of my apartment to make sure that I didn't have COVID so that the whole film crew could come in. I definitely have some behind the scenes photos and videos because I just thought, wow, this is a really cool experience. It's just something I want to say, man, I did that and I'm a part of that. In total, I filmed four different times with this film crew. Three times were in Tuscaloosa, two were interviews. One was like kind of following me around Tuscaloosa. And then and what most people know that happened, but didn't know what it was for I was flown out to LA for a couple of days this past fall in 2022 to go film a couple of extra things in the studio I will say and I know this that trailer is more dramatic than the actual documentary this documentary is a long-form documentary but you know they want to do the trailers that you watch it but let me tell you I'm going to be watching it we're all going to be watching it because I'm sure there's some crazy stuff that I don't even know about that's in that doc but when it comes to me 
here's what I did. They approached me because I was the OG Bama Rush girl. This is what they explained to me when they said, hey, we wanna meet you, you are the OG Bama Rush girl. We love your content, we love your personality. Will you be in this documentary? And I said, okay, well, what do you want me to talk about? The more I thought about it, the more I thought, yeah, absolutely. I turned my sorority experience into my full-time job through the power of social media. If I didn't go to Alabama, and if I didn't rush a sorority at Alabama, I would not have the job that I have right now, which is literally my favorite thing in the entire world, by the way. So for me, it was a really cool place to talk about my experience from sorority girl to full-time job. I will say that kind of stuff is boring. It's not tea that I really spilled. It was more of just my story and how I came into being a sorority girl, having nobody else in my family ever been in a sorority. Of course, I was asked questions, things regarding the machine. I was asked a bunch of different things, but let me just say I commented on everything that I felt comfortable and knowledgeable commenting on. They also asked me to explain the tier system, which I believe will be featured in the doc. Again, I'm not sure how I'm featured in the doc about that or how it's edited or pieced together, but there is a invisible tier system that everybody thinks that they have figured out with old row and new row and what fraternity boys think about you and what alumni think about you. Here's my piece of advice, and if this is not in the doc, I want you to take this away, okay? Let this be the takeaway from me. You better think that the sorority that you're in is the number one sorority on campus. I don't care where you stand in rankings or what anybody else thinks. You better be joining the sorority that you say, I don't care what you say. Pi Phi is the number one sorority at the University of Alabama. Not everybody will agree with me on that, but that makes you have the best experience ever. Of course, everybody wants to think that their sorority is number one. You don't want to be like, ha, I'm in the bottom house. And not that rankings even mean one single thing, especially when you are a sorority girl in these houses, you're not like walking around being like, oh man, the ranking system, nobody cares. But there are plenty of things that even go into these rankings. There's grades, there's involvement, there's looks. People just like to rank on different things and different houses will fall in different rankings based on different categories. Not every house has cookie cutter girls and you're just really not gonna get a good generalization when there's 400 plus girls in a chapter. They're not all the same and so it's really different difficult to do that. Anyway, that's just my soapbox making sure that I edit this correctly and that you know how I feel about the ranking system. But we'll see what comes out of my mouth in that documentary. <laughs> now, the second time that the film crew came over to my apartment, we sat on my couch and we talked about a couple of more things. Again, my purpose in this documentary and why I really agreed to do this was because I wanted to show them that you can have a positive experience. A lot of people have negative experiences with sororities. A lot of people have positive experiences with sororities. For me, personally, I think that life is what you make it and I made my sorority experience a positive one. And I will say this, as a social media influencer, whatever you wanna call me, I think I had a great balance of sorority life and work life because I know some other people they are like, oh, come with me to this event and then while I sit in the corner and edit my videos or other things like that, I felt like I was really a participant in my sorority. No tea, no shade to anybody else. You can run your business the way that you want but I was an active member of my sorority. I served in my sorority. I was on the Panhellenic Council. I had friends in my house. I had friends in other houses. I truly loved the Panhellenic community at Alabama. You guys, oh my gosh, a whole other thing. My freshman year roommate is also in this doc and neither of us knew that we were in it until we met each other on a Zoom call and I was like, Ryan, what are you doing here? And she's like, Gracie, what are you doing here? So we're both in the doc and that is absolutely insane. That is my freshman year roommate from Prez. We shared a bathroom and we have been bonding over this entire experience the past couple of weeks. So it just goes to show that there are friends all over the row. This documentary has just been such a hush-hush topic on campus that you don't think to ask, hey, are you in this? Or hey, have you heard about this? Because people did not want to talk about it. Like I said, when you're an active in a sorority, or at least as a Pi Beta Phi at Alabama, you are not allowed to speak on behalf of the chapter to the media. But because I was assured that this documentary was coming out after I graduated from the University of Alabama, I decided to participate. <laughs> you may be clicking off this video going, oh my gosh, so she's not gonna tell us all of her secrets. No. I would never betray my sisterhood like that. And when it comes to secrets, that's like generational stuff that you keep with your sisterhood. It's nothing crazy, it's no hazing, it's nothing wild, but it's just something that is sacred to sisterhood. So that being said, if you are going on camera to talk about things that are sacred to your sisterhood and thousands and thousands and thousands of women across the country and generations, you probably shouldn't have been in a sorority to start with. That's terrible. 
you know? That's just my opinion on it. But I took my membership in my sorority very seriously and also because I really enjoyed it. I did have a good time. And don't get me wrong, there are highs and lows to being in a sorority. There are some things that I really didn't like, things that I didn't like handled by certain members of our chapter, but they are long gone and long graduated. And then you look back and you go, I was being dramatic or it wasn't that serious. At least in my personal experience, in my personal opinion, nothing really happened in my sorority that rattled me or that I think personally like really rattled our sorority as a chapter. Again, you can have experiences like that. And that probably did happen in other houses, but I can only speak from my personal experience. I would never want to talk on somebody else's. This is just what happened in mine. So here's what I know. This documentary is less than two hours long. It's gonna come out on the 23rd and it's gonna be amazing. The overarching theme is just women and how we are growing up in this time and going through sorority recruitment and the pressures that you feel, especially at a large Greek life system like the University of Alabama. I know for me, it was a struggle. There's a lot of comparison in the game when it comes to what you look like and what you act like compared to everyone else. And so I'm not sure what other stories that other participants in this documentary shared. I didn't even know who was in it until really like a week and a half before the trailer came out. But it's hard and I know a lot of people have stories to tell. And I'm sure after this documentary comes out, there's going to be a lot of other girls making videos, I'm sure on TikTok, explaining their sorority experience, the ones who weren't asked to be in this documentary or didn't have a platform to share it on. And I'm nervous for this doc to come out. I have no idea truly what the full thing is going to look like, if it's going to make me look like a dumb blonde or a privileged girl so I'm just gonna acknowledge that now although I am not a dumb blonde I just do know that I fortunately had a very positive sorority experience I did not reveal any secrets of my sorority and I just really shared what it is to be a woman in the sorority system when it does come to rankings and explaining the system of how rush works with all of the different rounds and basically an overarching theme of what rush is if there is a place to go through sorority recruitment to be at the number one group Greek life school in the country. It is the University of Alabama and I am so proud to have gone there all four years and to have graduated with both my bachelor's and master's from that university. So all in all, it should be a great watch. I'm really excited. I'm anticipating it just as much as anyone else, but I know who I am and what I am and I will not have my name be slandered on social media saying that I betrayed my sisters. So let it be known here that I really was in this documentary as the OG Bama Rush girl and just to share a little bit of my experience of how I turned that sorority experience into a full-time job on social media. And of course, also to provide context clues and different things when it comes to Rush by basically explaining what sisterhood round is and what rankings are and what different things are. Basically anything you probably could find on the internet. So maybe this video wasn't exactly spilling all the tea, but it is letting you know all that I know about the documentary. If you guys are interested, I'll link up here and at the end of the video, my playlist for freshman year or sorority experiences, different things like that you can check out a bunch of different things on my channel I'm honestly scared to go back and watch my recruitment video from freshman year because I feel like I would cringe so much but if I was 18 years old and heading back off to college again I would say without a doubt I would still do it all the same and end up in Pi Beta Phi truly I do believe that that being said there's the tea there's everything that I know about this Bama Rush documentary that's coming out I will say they haven't told us a ton of stuff like I wish that I knew more I was calling I was like hey can you just like let me know if I should be scared should I be worried like please let me know because some of the girls are freaking me out right now. But at the end of the day, I signed away anything that I said on camera to that documentary crew back in the fall of 2021. So we're just going to have to see when it comes out. That was my senior year of college. So I was definitely still a relevant sorority girl at that point. And now we're just going to have to wait and see what it does. So May 23rd, I'll be watching with you guys on the Max streaming platform and uh, wish me luck. <laughs> I love you guys so much. I hope you have a great rest of your day and we'll talk soon. Bye. <laughs>